Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. I got the last of 2020's stuff that I bought delivered today. So I kind of wanted to go over the, I'm gonna say the final setup for the new Insta360 ONE R twin edition that I got for Christmas. I mean, this stuff's all, it's been out for long enough that, you know, I'm not gonna go over in detail what everything is, you know, but here it is. This is the Insta360 ONE R. Here's the, the brains that has the screen. Here's the 4K module. You just snap it together like that. And then it has a base, the, the red batteries, and they line up with the stuff on the bottom. Boom, and there's your 4K camera. There are a number of cases. It came with a case, but it does not have a hot shoe anywhere on it. I mean, a, a cold shoe. So I bought another one that actually does have one on the top. And I have that one that came with the little connector, like the GoPro style connector. And I have that on the invisible selfie stick. So you just stick it in there and you walk around and, and you, you film stuff. So I keep that pretty much like that. I also, as you know, put another GoPro connector because I got a ton of these things laying around. So I have it connected to the Peak Design quick release plate so that I can put it on any of my tripod, monopod type devices, including stuff that I have mounted in the car. I also ordered a dual charger and two more batteries because these batteries suck. And then I have the 360 module, but I don't use that all the time. So it pretty much stays in the case. And then you can just plug this in and charge two batteries at once. That way you're using one, but you're charging two. And then I also got the audio adapter. So it gives you a three and a half millimeter jack. That all wasn't enough for me though, because I really dislike the battery life. The battery life, it goes like that. And you saw how I mounted a cable in my Forerunner so that I can run it up to the dashboard where I plan on using this most of the time. Now, the one thing that I found was that when I'm driving, audio sucks. Like the internal mic sucks. I mean, if I were just walking around, it seemed to be pretty good, but it's a little bit too good inside the Forerunner and it picked up all the noise. So all the highway noise, all the engine revving and all that kind of stuff, it really picked it up and it, and it was just, it was torturous. I didn't even wanna post that video, but it was the first one, so I had to, cause I wasn't gonna shoot it again. All right, so I decided that what I was gonna do because battery life sucks so much is I got the boosted battery and that's what came in today. As you can see, big difference. And you're supposed to, you know, like some people say that they can shoot all day with this compared to this. Now, yes, I have three batteries, but you all, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know how I loathe shitty batteries and that I always try to find a different power solution so that I can keep things with it. Okay, obviously you can charge this while you're using it and that's fine, but you can't charge it while you're using the audio adapter. So if I'm at all using the audio adapter, I, you know, you got to pick and choose. You can't have the best of both worlds. So I'm going with a better battery and that way I can keep the audio on there. Now, the last thing that I got, of course, is a cage. I did not get one from Small Rig because they only had one for the small battery. This from Ulanzi is designed to work with the boosted battery attached. Once you get it put together, it just slides in and it's a tight fit, giggity. You seal it and now you're good to go. Now, the nice thing about this is that it has these little flappy bits here that are attached by a magnet and they're not coming loose. Now I have seen some people complain that these broke off and they, they do have a simple pin and it isn't a screw pin. So I think once those pins break, they're broken, but it doesn't matter because they also have a quarter 20. So now I can do it theoretically all day. We'll see. I, I mean, I don't shoot nonstop all day unless I'm testing a battery or something like that. So it should be good to go. I'm pretty excited. Although I've had a GoPro and a Sony X3000, I've never had one of these before. And the fact that you can do all that cool 360 shit was very intriguing. It's gonna change the flow up, of course, like I said, because if you wanna do the 360 stuff, you have to edit on the app first before you export it to your computer to put it into Final Cut. But I'm not gonna be doing 360 stuff all the time because, well, that, that would get boring. And I don't wanna be boring. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what I come up with. I plan on testing this out this week. Hopefully if it's nice enough, 
you might even get the hilarity of seeing me put on my roller skates that I found in the garage that I have not used in years. But I'm gonna have to get some safety gear first because I know I'm gonna fall on my ass. Okay, that's all I got for you. I just wanted to do a quick rundown, show you what I got because this is the final iteration. If I get anything else, it's gonna be way down the line. I might get the one inch sensor just because it's supposed to be pretty amazing. We'll see. But for now, I've got all I need to start making videos and testing this thing out. Of course, everybody else has had it for months and they're testing it all out, but I have it and I know you wanna see me use it. So that's what's gonna happen. Okay, that's all I got for you. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.